is this thing on ho oh, ho it is on i've got video film good morning good afternoon good evening or good night depending on when you watch this video i am shooting this using my gopro um so i wanted to give everybody an update as you can see i put my bumper back on and uh, for those of you that ever take your bumpers off on your Cadillac, I don't know why I said Cadillac, off your Camaro, uh, you gotta put the rear valance on first before you put the bumper back on the car. All right, and if you're disassembling it to change that out or to do anything that you wanna do, the bumper needs to come off first in order to get to that. So food for thought, but that's not why I'm shooting this video. So, um, as you can see, cars on jack stands again. Last video I said that I was going to take the motor out. So, I got the jack stand, got the car up in here. I've tried to take the motor out for the past two days um, after work and I was very unsuccessful. I found out last night why i was so unsuccessful at pulling this motor okay so um i've looked on youtube and i really haven't seen any videos where anybody has removed the gen 5 6.2 liter out of the 2016 to 2019 camaros i looked i did a google search couldn't find any videos I'm pretty sure there's one out there and I wish I would have did a beginning to where I'm at right now to kind of take everybody through the process of doing it. Um, I know some people that are getting ready to remove their motors. I'm not going to name any names because I'm pretty sure they want to be, um, they mean I want that information out there right now. But as everybody knows on my channel, uh, motor's coming out. So, as you can see, I have all of my electrical wiring loose, separated pull from the motor. There were different connections and I didn't want to completely move that out because I just didn't. It's, it's already a headache. Um, but I pretty much removed everything else top end wise and I think you saw that in the last video uh, what I didn't remove was my AC compressor I removed the two bolts I left it hooked up the refrigerant is still inside so I moved it and I lifted it to get it out of the way um, other than that my steering column I took the linkage shaft I raised it up into the steering just so it wouldn't be in the way of the motor coming out as you can see i left my radiator in i believe i should be able to get this motor out with the radiator in i really don't want to take it out i did remove one of my coolant lines i believe it was yesterday and i had coolant go everywhere on the garage floor uh well not everywhere but just underneath the car and then out the back um, and it wasn't bad because it was cooling <sighs> last night after finding what my issue was I jacked the car up I started jacking it up on the driver's side and due to the fact that I have some other components loose um, I had a big oil leak on the ground and so I soaked that up with uh or i got it up as much as i could with my shop towels which i think are still underneath the car actually yeah you can see them right there or maybe you can't see them right there but that's where they are two shop towels with oil and coolant uh and after i jacked up the driver's side i came over and jacked up the passenger side and here we are so it's a new day i know what i need to do to get the car out i've got to take not the car out but the motor out i've got to take 
off my front cross member. Uh, I spoke to someone else who removed the motor from their car, same car, sixth generation SS1 LE. And he shared with me that he had to pull off his front cross member and that he also removed his uh, transmission dampener from the transmission and that basically released any tension that was back there not allowing the motor to free itself up so uh what i'll show you is the motor is loose you can see it's good and loose but my point or my problem right now is my oil pan is bumping up against that front cross member and that's not allowing the motor to come forward anymore so i have repositioned the engine hoist i put it on the front hole i've raised it up it's not doing me any good so i've got to get down there i've got to take that cross member uh off the car and drop it and that's that's going to create more work but hey if it's got to be done it's got to be done so my goal is are to remove the tires the two front tires and that way i can see everything that is going to consist of removing the cross member um, once i do once i remove those two front tires then i'm going to get underneath the car i'm going to see what all bolts i need to get to to loosen them up and taking them off i am going to put one of my jack stands underneath the motor to hold it up so it does not come down when the cross member comes down pretty much man that's it so right now i'm using my six ton jack stands to hold the car up i have two and a half ton jack stands uh, that I'm going to use for the motor itself to hold it up until I can get the front cross member off well, once I do that The motor hopefully will move forward and then I'll be able to remove it from the engine bay um, These are really tight spaces to work in um, especially since I did not take the front part off of my car. I left the radiator. I didn't I really just didn't want to fool with that. As you can see, all my hoses are still intact. Um, I shouldn't have an issue with those hoses because they are movable. I do wish that I could just totally remove the AC compressor, but I don't want to deal with the refrigerant. And so I'm not going to fool with it. So that's where we are. Um, it has truly been a learning experience dealing with the removal of, dealing with removing the components of the motor. Um, I think I've done everything I can. You can see I have tools across um, the exterior. Man, I can't even think of what that area is called, but I'm just gonna say I got my, tools and uh, some bolts and studs that went to the in between the transmission and the motor and, and then everything else is pretty much compartmentalized bolts and bags spark plugs lifters valves I got the heads and the headers and all of that stuff put up so I thought this was going to take me like one day to pull out the motor that is definitely not the case it's going to take me a couple of days because i really am doing this myself um i got my wife out here two nights ago and i was like man i do not really want to get her involved because i don't want her to get hurt in case something goes wrong and so um i don't want to get hurt either in case something goes wrong but I'm working as smart as I can and I'm making sure that the car and everything else is 
situated and supported the way that it needs to be. I've had this car on those jack stands for like five months and never had an issue with the car, never had an issue with the jack stands. So that's where we're at. Hopefully by the end of the week, I will have this motor out of the car and then I can get it on the engine stand, drain the oil, turn it over and get to start start doing the other stuff that I want to do. So uh, there you have it. Uh, just wanted to give you guys an update of where I am regarding the teardown process. I am going to do my best once all of this is done to put the motor back in the car but as it sits right now i cannot make any guarantees um but i want to be able to put this motor back in the car just like i'm taking it out but you know my neighbor said it earlier he said sometimes man it's just better to pay somebody to do uh what you want to get done but um i'm all about doing it yourself and this isn't hard especially when you have the right equipment and if you're able to do the research to see what needs to be done so um stay tuned more to come and i'm going to do my best to share the triumphs and joys as much as some of the failures but uh, i wouldn't say the past two days has been failure i would say that it's definitely been a learning experience especially when you don't have any type of resources other than asking a question and then somebody giving you an answer on what needs to be done. So I've spoken enough, showed you the engine bay enough. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Stay tuned. This is Mr. Lee. I'll catch you later. Peace.